up. We're just, just. Hey. The 12th of July. Good morning. Hello. Day, do you know what day it is? 60 something. 67. We're at the delightful West Kirby. It's very cute. We're here at the Wirral. The Wirral. The Wirral. We knew that. Time to do some motor around. All the stations. Mick our guard. Mick, Mick our guard is hilarious and loves <laughs> loves what we're doing. But more importantly, we have a small a small milestone. Let's go back this way. It's a station 1708. That is two thirds, 66 percent. Wow! Go. <laughs> <laughs> you notice over here by, by the doors, there's no buttons to open the doors. When we do the loop in a minute under the city, it, it becomes a little bit like the London Underground. And I think one of the subtle things is that on the underground, there's no buttons to open doors. So on the Mersey Rail trains, there's no buttons. The doors just open for you. And that makes it very underground-esque. Good. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Birkenhead North. This footbridge is only a couple of years old. Opened officially on the 4th of June 2014. I don't know where Vicky's gone. I need Vicky for the quaint ometer. That should be a natural thing. I'm going to turn straight around, but I can see the beach and the water down there. Oh, and a mermaid. So Birkenhead Park, the park here, um, on the sign it says the world's first public park and apparently it's the park that inspired the very famous Central Park in New York. Should I say New York? There's a sign for the Northern Line. It's not black, it's in Piccadilly Blue. I'm very confused. It's a long way to Edgeware. <laughs> it is a long way to Edgeware. Well, we could just spend an hour here taking pictures of all the delightful signs at James Street. People in the Wirral in Liverpool <laughs> are so nice. Do you want to move to Liverpool? Uh, <laughs> I thought we decided on Cardiff. <laughs> it's just too many options. Too many nice places. This is very cool. Look at the toilet. There's the sound of running water. So if you're ever in London and you do, what well, was the East London line, now the overground, between Wapping and Rotherhithe, Brunel's famous tunnel, it's disconcerting because you can hear the sound of water. It's the same here at James Street. Yes, I can hear the water. <laughs> Just the dark tunnel. I'm so glad it's a sunny day. Because last time we came to Liverpool, it was it was a it was a rainy, miserable wet day. Today, the sun's out. Basically, you can't come to Liverpool. We just wanted to. If we didn't get a shot at the Mersey, people'd be like, "I can't believe you didn't come to Liverpool." Is that the ferry across the Mersey? Do they play <laughs> ferry across the Mersey? Oh, can we get the ferry across the Mersey? Can you come and be in my shot? Is it back? Or backy YouTube, <laughs> I'm doing a Jeff YouTube. Um, it makes me think of whenever I see that written down, it's back, backy, it reminds me of Bacchus, the Greek god of wine and fertility. The other great thing is that uh, we're going back up the line to stop at Port Sunlight, but not every train stops at Capenhurst. Luckily, we already did it on the way down, but reminder for the drivers as well, whether they need to stop or not. And there's this brilliant sign right by the cab. Did you stop at Capenhurst? This train does not stop at Capenhurst. Okay, quick train related thing first. There appears to be secure cycle storage at Port Sunlight, although the poster suggests that you can get them across the network. And basically you need a fob to go, the shutter goes up and you can securely 
Lock your bike away. It's also part of the bike and go scheme. No, I've seen this in a, f in a few places, but I don't know enough about the bike and go scheme. I should probably visit the website bikeandgo.co.uk. But I'd like to know: is it regional? Is it national? I can't remember where else we've seen it. Is there somebody out there that's from Bike and Go that would like to talk to us about your bike and go. about <laughs> Bike and Go at railway stations, or is there somebody? watching YouTube right now, they can leave us a comment. Tell us more about bike and go. I want to know if you can actually bike and go, or do you have to like bike and do something before you can go? It sounds easy, but how easy is bike and go? I sent your quaintometer is, is already, here's the quaintometer. <laughs> no, I just think we should, here's, so this is not quaint, this is quaint, all right? Yeah. Okay. Out of the station. <laughs> Port Sunlight is a model village, a bit like Bourneville. When we were at Bourneville, all the rail works at Swindon. It was built by the Lever brothers who owned the Lever factory to make soap. They wanted their workers to have decent housing, good wages, a nice safe community in which to live. Um, so they built this village for them. The Lieber brothers were about saying, rather than all of your money and profits going into drinking um, and getting drunk, you know, give it to me and, and we'll put it back into the village to, to make a really wholesome place for you to live. Um, and as a result, Port Sunlight was created. is Hume Hall, uh, famous for being a venue where the Beatles have played, but perhaps most significantly, it was the venue for Ringo Starr debut with the Beatles on the 18th of August, 1962. You can get married here as well. Anhelmatic sundial, I think that's correct. So to tell the time you need to stand on the month stone and the time will be where your shadow is cast across the hour pillars. The inner circle is British summer time, the outer circle is the winter months. It's casting sort of one o'clock. I don't know if I should take my outer edge to be because it's about 20 to 2, which here is about right. That's incredible. We're at Ellesmere Port. It's really sunny. That's better. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> what? I want to go. <laughs> Do you, not, do you not know how to do the trick? No. The trick's brilliant. It works both ways. Look, if you take them, well, off is this hand, and then to put them on again, you just use this hand. It's work. You should try it sometimes. Which hand? The right is on. Okay. And then left, left is off. Okay. Go. Yeah, it's not quite. The point is, Mersey Rail trains to Ellesmere Port every half an hour. Northern trains from Ellesmere Port, just four a day. Four a day, people, and we're on one of them for the awkward Stanlow and Thornton, which is coming next. It's a train coming. It's not a pacer. You got yourself a sprinter. Stanlow and Thornton. Oh, the driver. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> made it to Stanlow and Thornton. There used to be more trains that running through here, more freight, more passenger services, you know, it's just been scaled down, scaled down. It's a classic parliamentary style service. There's an oil refinery uh, I think over there, over here. It's a very industrious area, but it's not just men in 
you know, hard hats digging for oil, it's also office workers like Dave. Dave, Dave came back to meet us. Hello, Dave. Hi. You saw that we were coming through and you work at the oil refinery. That's right, yes. Is that correct? Yes, so what, correct. what's your job, first of all? I'm a mechanical engineer. I uh, sort of help design tanks and pumps and, and the way this... And who, who do you work for? What's I your work company? for SR. It's an E-S-S-E-R. Yes, it used to be Shell, now it's known by, right, by SR. SR. So the main question is, is how do you get to work? Is it by train? I wish it was. Ah. Unfortunately, no, it's by car. <laughs> Do you drive? Where, whereabouts do you live? Do you I live in Bromborough, which is sort of further up the line on the Wirral. Okay, would it be quicker if there were more trains for you to get a train Absolutely, to work? Absolutely, yeah. Really? There's lots of people, there's probably a thousand people work on this site. 25% of those could use the train, I'm sure. Interestingly, we were sort of told in advance a security guard comes down and you're not meant to come here unless you work at the oil refinery, but you've just walked here from your desk. So you left your office building yeah. and walked down. Is there a way out to the public street? There is, yes, yes, there so you, is. So you can get out to the public street? You can, you, you have to walk through the refinery road, but it is it is open, you can walk down. There's no barrier, there's no, no sign no. saying no, no passenger no, entrance here. No, no. But is there any sign out on the street? Is, is there the famous, you know, BR yes, and R logo? Yes, there is, yeah. Yes. So there is a logo out on the yes. street. Is there like a post with a timetable? There table? is, and there's, there's a, pub, it's a it's a proper station, it's a real national rail station. But it's just not used that frequently. Correct, yeah. But you would like it. I would, yeah, it'd be ideal for me, yes. So, so Northern Rail, they would really like to get the train to work. Wouldn't you? So, yes, please. So, yeah. I would like that very much. <laughs> Make it happen! <laughs> Train's here. Yay! There's three people on it. And that's how you stand on the point. Three. Tick. This is genuine? Yeah. I've just been getting cash out. We're at Warrington. I come out, Vicky's talking, talking to a strange man. The man turns out to be Neil. I've been called a lot worse, yeah. And you're just offering us a lift at the other Warrington station? Central station, yeah. Another random... Well, you Thank you. recognise Vicky. You didn't recognise me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I saw Vicky first. We got chatting. She was asking about Warrington. Right, well, could you get us quickly to, yeah. to, to see the Warrington business? <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for not abducting us and giving us a lift. How do I open your door? The, oh, the latch my, is... mate, my mate broke Oh no! Today, so. <laughs> We've got a broken latch on the door. <laughs> what time do you train? We can get the 57. We do the stopper, don't we? We have to get the stopping one, yeah. We can't take the slow way, we have to go the long way. Well, so much. Me, yeah. All right. Good luck with your endeavours. Thanks for another random lift in Warrington. Yeah. From, yeah. from a nice, you, from a nice local. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. I forgot your name. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and that saved us time, so we've unexpectedly got the train ten minutes ahead. So it stops everywhere. It stops everywhere. Thanks, Neil. Amazing. <laughs> you saved us ten minutes. <laughs> Which, because of our connection, yeah. we'll end our day half an hour earlier. That's the amazing. You miss a train by five minutes, and it puts you half an hour down. You know, make up a train by five minutes, push you half an hour ahead. Thus endeth our day. That's a lot of Liverpool. I it's like a little it. bit Liverpool. It's good. It's good. It's a it's a lot of a little bit of Liverpool. Okay. I, I don't want to feel like I'm just conforming to the stereotype where everybody says everyone from Liverpool is so lovely. But genuinely, genuinely, everybody today was just mega friendly, mega chatty, mega. Like, the most, do you remember in the pilot we went to Hull and there's a lady in Hull going Hull is the friendliest oh, yeah. people. Hull. You got some competition. You definitely got some competition with the Liverpoolians. We have yet to get the hull, so we, we might have to have a. a We've got time to, you know, set yeah. up some sort of banner. Hull, hull, band. Up, up your game <laughs> as to who's the friendliest city, because currently Liverpool is genuinely winning. <laughs> Bye. It's like you see in the movies when people have had babies and they get put in like the crash area of the hospital. You can, you can only look at the bikes, you can't, you can't go and ride them. Well, lean in like you're looking at the baby bikes. They're so cute. <laughs> uh, we have to have a cutaway. <laughs> Do you know why? It's because we, we haven't eaten this we morning. We need to eat. <laughs> we so badly need to eat. We have to get the shot though of you looking in. I, I haven't moved. <laughs> what have you been doing?
Is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs>